Welcome back guys, it's Correcty Fox, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build some coaches for Frisco 1522 from the SLSTA, which is the St. Louis Steam Train Association. So I have four different cars over here, and this train consist is for Frisco 1522, which I am working on right now. Uh, I still need to add some, you know, finishing touches, but that will also include the auxiliary tenders, so... After that video is filmed, then you can start building uh, the coaches for this. But since I finished the coaches first, I'll be filming this tutorial. So yeah, these cars are actually a mix match from different origins. So they're actually like different lengths. Took a while to, you know, research how long each car is. So right here in the front, we have the black gold. And this is the baggage car. It's a 73 foot and I made it 33 blocks long. And then we have the crew car Firefly. This is 75 foot long, 34 blocks. Then we have the diner lounge Chateau Club, which is 85 foot or 39 blocks long. And then we have the business car Blue Bonnet, 78 foot, 36 blocks long. And it does have this like porch here in the back, kind of like how you have an observation car. Um, and yeah, here's how it looks like on the other side. It also uh, was kind of hard to make because you know in real life some of these have been uh, painted I guess and donated to like the Milwaukee Road Railroad and they look different that they based it partially on pictures from like 2002 which is the last run they had of this uh, before they went all their separate ways and this video is made possible by Matthew Hamblin who commissioned it so thank you Matthew for actually you know, making this video possible uh, but anyways let's get started so even though these cars are all different lengths, we're going to have a similar base model. So first, let's grab some blocks. We'll take out a dark oak slab, polished black stone brick slab and wall, a clay, a black uh, carpet and site wall, polished black stone, a dark oak fence gate, and dark oak trap door. So first off, we'll add in the gangway, so that's going to be a dark oak fence gate. And then a dark oak block on top of that. Polished blackstone brick slabs either side of that. And then three blocks tall of polished blackstone brick walls. Both sides. And polished blackstone brick slab here in the middle. Then we'll add in at the bottom a dark oak uh, trapdoor, make it two blocks long. And then we'll grab a dark oak trapdoor, open it up here. And then um, inside, there's going to be a smooth quartz um, blocks, make an L shape both sides. And then we'll add in this polished black stone slab, top corners. And then smooth stone slabs above that. And then clay on top of that, three blocks wide. At the bottom, we'll add in this polish uh, black stone. So that's going to be two blocks wide each side. And then andesite wall here at the bottom. And below that is going to be this polished black stone brick block. Make it two blocks. Or maybe three, four. <laughs> I don't know. Let's make it three blocks for now. And then we'll need to make this bogey. So that is going to be three blocks wide after that. Five blocks long. So. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Extend that out. And then we'll add in polished black stone brick slab here in this gap area like that. Sides. And polished black stone brick stairs in the corner with a dark oak trap door underneath that. And we could do the same thing on the other side right here. All right, next up, we'll take a chain and rod. So we'll add an end rod here, facing horizontally, and then a chain vertically underneath it. Then we'll add in some more blocks. We'll need a gray terracotta, hopper, and polished black stone brick wall. So the wheel is going to be um, right here, gray terracotta, and at the end, hoppers on the sides. And then a wall next to that on the inside part. And then polished black and brick stairs facing inwards like that. And then polished black and brick slab right there. Side between. Other side, dark oak uh, fence gates. 
for the axles of the wheels. And we'll do pretty much the same thing on the other side, but uh, in the middle part we'll add in slabs going all the way across. And then we'll add in the rest of the area. You know, just like this. And then hoppers on the sides. That's our um, wheel. Then we'll add in um, oak slab and make this go all the way across this. Same thing on the other side, make it go all the way across this. Just like that. And then we'll take out a black concrete and add in three blocks tall inside here. Then we'll add an andesite slab, top to the bottom of this. Like so. And then next up, we're going to make this top section so it is 33 blocks long. So we're going to take all of this. Make it 33 in total. Now each car I said is different length, so I said 33. That's like the shortest car. And later we can extend some of these. Alright, then next up we're going to also extend this uh, polished blackstone slab and smooth quartz. Uh, pretty much the same way, going all the way across like that. And the other side, we could do the same thing, just extend it out. 33 blocks long like this. And uh, should we do the bottom row? I think we should. So, you know, same thing with the polished blackstone. Just extend that out like that. Nice so far. And then I think we could just extend out um, this oak slab, you know, all the way across to the back section. Then this part as well, just extend that all the way across. So, however long that is. And then after that, we will also extend out um, the smooth quartz, you know, all the way across. Smooth quartz all the way across, just like that. All right, then we'll go back here to the front, add a black carpet here. Also add in black glass panes along the tops. All right, so now we're going to split off the tutorial to make uh, each different car. So I'm going to make some copies of this. All right, so I just made the copies. So now we're going to convert each of the cars differently because they're all different, as I said before. So for the first car, the baggage car, the black gold, we're going to go over here to the edge and we'll delete these two slabs. Instead, that's going to be andesite walls. All right, then we'll take out a birch fence gate, go over here to the edge. Skip block, add it here, open it up like that. And we'll go off to the other corner. I think it's pretty much the same way like that. All right, so next up, we're going to uh, copy everything that we built on this side right to this edge here and the gangway. And we will add that to the other side because that is pretty much the same thing. So let's go over there. And just build it right there. So we just added that gangway yet again. Same design. All right. Then we're going to go to the corner here, add in two oak buttons like that. I'll punch in a hole here, make it uh, three blocks wide alongside this hopper. And uh, we're going to add in polished blackstone wall three blocks wide right there. All right. And then we'll go to the other side here and. Um, we actually do need to add in the bogey as well, so we have to like we have to copy all of this and the bottom section, um, and then put it on the other side because we do need that bogey. It is the same design like that, and then we'll do same thing here. Just punch in three blocks wide hole, and we'll add in uh, polished blackstone walls inside here. And same thing in this corner, just three blocks wide, punch in a hole like that. And we'll do the same thing um, over here, three blocks wide. Very nice. And now we can add in, inside it's going to be a polished blackstone. Add that inside here, however you can fit this in. And then same thing over here. All right, then the top section that's going to be smooth quartz block here in the middle. It slabs on either side. And they're also going to be punching a hole here above it like that. 
and inside is a black glass block i think it is so <laughs> black glass block right there there and then at the top it's also okay so it's apparently two blocks tall so just add it on top of that like this and we do the same window on this side this block here in the middle it slabs either side of that and then black uh glass blocks inside all right then the inside of that's going to be uh black concrete and we are just going to make uh pretty much like a two by three i think inside here because that is all going to be filled in and now we're going to add in this type of window here so that's just uh Oops, did not mean to do that. Three blocks wide of smooth quartz slabs. Black glass block in the middle, two blocks tall, and then smooth quartz blocks either side of that. And I'll do the same thing to this window here. Punch a hole in the middle. Just build the rest, slabs cross. And now we need to add in um, this iron bar. So that's going to be iron bars. I think it's to the left of this, yeah. To the left of this and this one will have it on both sides of it other side left to it this one has it both sides and now we'll take out um polished blackstone brick stairs and i'm going to add it upside down right here and another one upside down underneath this part here dark oak trap door underneath it and then this side has it right underneath here. Just like that. I guess they're all facing the same direction. And we could do the same thing on the other side here. Just one here, another one here. Trap door. And then another one right here, I believe. Gotta make sure I'm doing this right. Okay. And then in the middle, we'll add in some blocks. So we'll take out oak slab and oak button so go here in the middle and we can skip four blocks space then three blocks wide oak buttons like that should be in the middle and then the middle we'll add in uh, oak slabs make it five blocks spaced apart like this and we can replicate that onto the other side they're so just uh five of them like this and the oak buttons at the bottom three blocks wide like this and yeah that's that's a thing and then for the roof detail there's going to be uh, iron trap doors and it lines up with the stairs here on that side the next one lines up this slab here next up lines up this slab here on the other side next up lines up this one next up lines up with this part the next one lines up with this this area here that stairs i guess all right so that is the roof and then we'll go off to the other side here add in two oak buttons like that all right next up we'll go line up where we have this oak slab here go down add in dark oak i mean polished blackstone brick slab cross like that i'm going to make this go all the way to the edge just like this fill that in and then we'll go over here, line up with this oak slab, add a polished block slab, while again, building up to the edge. All the good stuff is in the middle area. All right, next up, we'll go line up here, add a polished blackstone brick uh, block, four blocks wide. Go on the other side here, add a two, another brick fence like that, another one right there. And then there's going to be this uh, polish blackstone block and slab so two blocks wide of blocks and actually it's gonna be right here actually move this fence forward so two blocks wide like that and then two polished blackstone slabs underneath and the rest is just gonna be polished blackstone brick slabs across the top just like that and um yeah that's pretty much it on how to make the black gold baggage car Our first car in the lot now let's move on to the secondary car, the crew car Firefly. So this car is just like a block longer at 34 blocks. So we have to extend this out a little bit. 
So we'll go over here and we will add in another uh, layer to us. Just one section, just extend it out one block more like that. All right, so once we have that, we'd copy this whole thing that we built here from uh, the truck to the gangway, and we will build it again onto the other side. So let's do that right now. Build it again here. All right, so it looks like that. And now uh, for this car, we're going to go here to the edge, punch in a hole here, punch in a hole. And inside it's gonna be a black concrete, two blocks tall, and a dark oak trapdoor at the top, and then a smooth quartz um, slab here at the bottom. And I believe the other side's pretty much the same thing, so we can do that again right over here, just making that doorway just like that. All right, and then we're gonna take a black glass, um, black concrete, so. Go here, punch in a hole, black concrete inside, and black glass. And then we'll skip three blocks and do the same thing over here. So black window here, skip to another window here, and skip to another window here, and skip to another window here. So now we got a bunch of windows. All right, and then we'll take out um, black, I mean, oak button, and we're gonna add it so it's three blocks wide right here. And then oak slab above it here. Skip two, add one, skip two, add one. So we want five of these. They're spaced apart like that. Then we'll go off to the other side. And I think that's pretty much the same thing. So bunch of hole here, I think, We'll go skip three blocks here, punch a hole, skip two, punch, skip two, punch, skip two, punch. All right, and then we'll add all the windows at the same time. And then black glass. And then our oak buttons above, I mean, below this window here. Above it, our uh, oak slabs just uh, spaced apart even more than the other car. And this might say first go. Okay. Once we have that part, um, we need to go off to this side here. Add a oak button right there. And we'll add in a chain. And we'll add in two going horizontally. Just like that. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. So oak button and then two chains. Very good. Then we'll go to this side here, uh, right above this uh, hopper, just delete two by three hole here. And we might as well punch through to the other side, like that. The inside we'll add in polished blackstone um, inner wall, three blocks wide. Same thing over here. Then a polished blackstone wall cross like that, black concrete in the middle, smooth quartz block on either side. Same thing on the other side here, black concrete in the middle, and then polished blackstone wall, smooth quartz, and then there's going to be a black glass pane in the middle and then white glass panes on the sides. Just making that 3D, just like this, and an iron bar to the side. Same thing over there, iron bar to the side. All right, and then there's also gonna be this um, stirrup step, so it's gonna be uh, all lush blacks and brick stairs, upside down right there, with a dark oak trap door underneath it. And we could do the same thing onto the other side here. Look at that stirrup step, just like so. And then for the top detail, uh, we can take a iron trap door, go here, line up up here, add one there. Another one's gonna be right here. And then another one's gonna be here and one on this side. And then there's gonna be one here in the middle, three blocks long, and one on that side like that. And I think that's it. 
So then we'll add in uh, iron bars alongside this part here, like so. Other side, we could do the same thing, just like that. All right, now we need to build the bottom. That's going to be a tricky area. So first, let's grab some blocks, like a nether brick block and black concrete and polished blocks and brick, um, or just polished blocks and actually. All right, so go off to this edge here, add in three blocks wide, polish black stone brick slab. And the other side, we'll add in another brick block there. And then next up, we'll add in polish black stone brick uh, slab on this side. And then it's going to be three polish black stone blocks. And then there's going to be three uh, dark oak trap doors underneath that. Polish blackstone brick slab here. And the other side's gonna be polished blackstone brick stairs. Um, right to the side of this. So how do I do this? I think we'll skip a block, add a polished blackstone brick block here. And stairs upside down. And skip a block, polish blackstone brick block, and then stairs upside down. And then it's gonna be uh, dark oak trap doors, just three blocks wide like that. And then the middle part's going to be polished black stone brick slabs across this part here. And we'll make this part three blocks wide. And then five black concretes on both sides. So one, two, three, four, five. And then five on this side. One, two, three, four, five. And polished black stone brick slabs underneath that. And then the other side, same thing. Going all the way across like that. Then there's going to be this uh, upside down polish block stone brick uh, stairs facing this way. The two of them like that. And then there's going to be three polished black stone brick slabs. And then two uh, polished black stone blocks. And polished black stone brick slabs um, underneath that. And then we'll go to the middle part here, add a polished black stone brick slabs in between these tanks. And we're to extend out these um, stairs so that they go all the way across like that. And then over on this side, I think the middle part's going to be uh, black concrete across like this. I guess three blocks like that. And then there's going to be this dark oak um, trap door right underneath it. Uh, actually, right after the stairs, and then polished black stone brick slab, three blocks long. And this tank here, we're just going to extend it out so it's a 2 by 3 Just like that. Alright, then we'll go off to this edge here, and we'll add in two polished black stone uh, blocks like that. And a polished black stone brick slab down there. Do the same thing on this side. Just like that. And yeah, that's how you make the crew car firefly. Now let's move on to the next car. That is the diner lounge or the chateau club. All right, so for this car here, we're gonna add an additional uh, six blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, like that. And we're gonna extend all of these parts so it matches, okay? Just extend that, bam, like that. And now we have to copy the truck and the gangway to the other side. So copy truck and the gangway. You all have to do this by hand, unless you have welded it. And we'll build the other side. Bam, just like that. All right. Next step, we'll punch in a hole over here two blocks, add in uh, black concrete, two blocks tall inside, and I think we'll borrow it from this car here, a dark oak trap door, and smooth quartz slab, with iron bars to the side of that. There's also going to be um, this oak button, which I do have to grab right now, two blocks wide like that, and we're going to do the same thing on the other side pretty much. Uh, so punch in a two block tall hole here, add a black concrete inside, dark oak trap door, smooth quartz slab, iron bars to the sides of that, that two oak buttons. 
right? Now we'll go off to this side. And we'll punch in a hole here. And go down way out, punch in another hole here. And go down here, punch in another hole here. Then we're going to take an iron block, or block of iron as they call it. Deep steel tile slab and a polished black brick slab. So first polished black brick slab here, then a tile slab above, and then an iron or block of iron inside there. The other side we'll just add in a block of iron that's going to be right there. This car is actually asymmetrical, so it's not all the same on both sides. Now next we'll add in this um, birch trap door. I mean birch fence gate over here. Open that up like that. And then we'll go here, um, punch in a hole here, skip a block two, skip a block three, skip a block two, and skip a block three, and then skip a block two, skip a block two, skip a block two, and yeah. Inside here, we'll add a black concrete. And we're gonna add it inside for pretty much every single part of this window. Okay, all the way to the edge. Just like that. Now we'll go off to the other side. And then skip three here, punch in two block hole, skip a block three, skip a block two, skip a block three, skip a block two, skip a block two, skip a block, two, skip a block one. Then inside again, we'll just add in a black concrete and I'm just gonna use a world edit cause it saves me some time like that. And now we're gonna add in black glass block inside here. And again, I'm just gonna use world edit just to save myself time. It should, it should be pretty easy to uh, do that. You don't need me to tell you how to place, you know, glass inside a hole. But yeah, once we have it like that, uh, we're going to take out oak slab and oak bun. So we're going to go off to the middle three block wide window. And we're going to go here, add in three blocks wide oak buttons like that. And then one towards this end. And the other side would add three underneath this window. And then one on the, on the right. Then above, we'll punch in a hole here, oak slab. And we want that, you know, five blocks wide. Just like that. Other side, same thing. Just uh, add one over here, five blocks. We're well, not five blocks wide, there's like five blocks spaced apart. I don't know. All right, so once we have that, let's go off to this side here. And we do need to delete this, um, these two blocks of the corners. Block here, and instead we're gonna add in uh, upright Polished black stone brick stairs, and upside down the edge, iron trap door underneath it. We'll do a repeat over right here. And oh yeah, we need to punch in a hole first. And then we can add in, oh no, a deleting box, stairs, and then iron trap door right there. Okay. Then the other corner, we're gonna add in um, polished black stone, just two blocks wide here. And looks to be polished blocks and brick slabs underneath it. And the other side, we could do the same thing, just box wide, polished black and brick slab like that. All right, next up, we'll need to add in the bottom half. So uh, let's grab a dark oak fence gate, gray terracotta, and um, gray concrete, and also. Deep slate brick wall, uh, nether brick uh, fence. So first off, let's go over here in the middle, two dark oak fence gates like that. Go on the other side and add in another two dark oak fence gates like that. And then we'll go back onto the side, add in gray terracotta and that in the middle. And we're gonna make it, and we're gonna make it seven blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. 
go back over here, add a polish, block stone brick slab, skip block another one, skip block another one, skip block another one. And then gray concrete, four blocks wide, one, two, three, four. And then polish, block stone brick slab here in the middle. And we'll make a T-shape right there. Then onto this side, there's going to be uh, tile uh, slabs. Just, I mean, tile blocks, just three blocks long like that. And then there's going to be this uh, deep slate brick stairs. So one's going to be upside down inside here. And the other side, we'll add it. So there's going to be two upside down here. Then we'll add in three blocks of dark oak fence gates like that. And then, uh, what do you call it? A gray concrete here. And a deep slate brick slab underneath here. And two polished blackstone brick slabs. Okay, then we'll go to the other side. And we're going to add in the tile block here, that gray concrete, three blocks wide. Add in two by two gray concrete here, then two nether brick fence. And then uh, we'll have to grab dark oak trap door, add it right underneath this tile. And we'll extend this up to the edge and add another one here. And then, uh, and then we'll grab a uh, uh, polished deep slate wall. Just add one right here. And a polished black stone brick slab. <laughs> then polished black stone brick slab here in the middle, three blocks long. On this side, it's going to be a uh, deep slate brick wall here. Um, and then dark oak chapter underneath here. Uh, another deep slate brick wall here, and then dark oak trap door. Actually, we need this on the outer edge. And then dark oak trap door underneath. I'm going to make this go all the way across that, like so. Actually, never mind. This actually goes all the way up right there. And uh, this section here, I think, yeah. So you see all these trap doors just fill in the gaps, like that, across. Uh, just like that. And then over here, it's going to be a uh, nether brick. Fence, and two gray concretes, and nether brick fence, and then other side, gonna be uh, gray concretes uh, right here with the nether brick fences on the outer edges, and there's gonna be this um, deep slate tile uh, block in between here, and then at the bottom of this. Yeah, this is just deep slate brick slabs underneath these sections. Uh, just like that. And then this part here is going to be polished black stone brick slabs, two blocks wide. And the other side, polished black stone brick slab here, and then another polished deep slate wall right there. Yeah, the bottoms of cars are definitely a pain in the ass to make. Over here, we'll add in gray concrete right there and another one there. And there also is a dark oak trapdoor underneath these gray concretes, four blocks wide like that. And we'll also take out a dark oak slab and we will add it right underneath the gray terracotta that we just added in the middle a long time ago. So over here, I think we just add another one here and then a secondary one like that. Let me just make sure it is alrighty. Okay, good. All right, so yeah, that's pretty much it on how to make the Chateau Club. Now we can move on to our last car. This is going to be the business car, the blue bonnet. So we're gonna put this at the end. And uh, basically what we're gonna do here, uh, we're gonna add in um, the edge. We're gonna extend the roof a little bit. Uh, so three blocks wide clay, then one block there in the middle. And then we'll take out uh, smooth 
stone slab and andesite slab. So make an L shape, move stone slab right here, extend this part out, other side, do the same thing. Andesite stairs here in the middle. And then there's gonna be a dark oak trap door. It's just five blocks wide here, and three blocks wide. And at the very edge, there's gonna be this uh, red glass pane inside of a glow item frame. Just add that right there. And then over here, it's gonna be a polished blackstone block. Corners like that. And then smooth quartz block underneath that. Another polished blackstone underneath that. And then there's going to be a hole here, just punching, I guess, four blocks wide hole. Like that. Other side, same thing. And then next up, uh, we'll go here, skip two blocks, punch in a hole, skip a block, punch in a hole, skip a block, two block wide hole, skip a block, two block wide hole, skip a block, two block wide hole, skip two blocks. And four block wide hole this time. Skip two blocks, punch in a hole. Skip two blocks, punch in a hole. Skip block, punch in a hole. Now the other side, it's actually different. They're not the same, unfortunately. So skip two blocks, punch in a hole. Skip block, punch in a hole. And this time we have to skip four blocks. One, two, three, four. Punch in a hole two blocks wide. Skip a block two. Skip two blocks. Four, one, two, three, four. Skip a block, punch in a hole. Skip block, punch in a hole. Skip block, punch in a hole. All right. Then after that, we'll take out a black concrete, black glass, and snow. So there's actually going to be snow just for these two windows. There's snow layer, maybe two layers tall like that. And then the inside part, we are going to add in black concrete inside all of these windows that we just added and this is going to take us a while so you know i guess we just have to do that you know or you can use world edit <laughs> so i think i'll just use that world edit just to save time for this tutorial because this tutorial is going to be like super super long if i don't do that um all right so i filled in the inside part with uh black um, concrete like that. Now for my train, I added these iron trap doors that go up like this, and maybe you can't do that. So if you can't do that, like you don't have access to a debug stick, you could just use a birch trap door. So we'd go in between here, birch trap door, just back to back like that. And we also need to do that for this window here. So all the four block wide windows do that. And the other side, do that to this window here. And then for this window here. And then we'll fill in the rest of these windows that we added with black glass. So I'm just gonna fill that in just like that. All right, next up, we'll go over here to this window and we're gonna move these oak slabs, just uh, one block inside like that. Other side, we'll do the same thing, just move these inside a block. Then we'll take out um, iron bars, birch button, oak button. So we're going to add in two iron bars on a diagonal, birch button here, and an oak button underneath this window. And the other side, we can do the same thing. So just uh, iron bar here to on diagonal, birch button, and then oak button right there. Then we're gonna take out um, polished blackstone and we're gonna add two blocks. Um, make it two by three um, right before these slabs here, I guess. The middle part, we can just fill that in, polished blackstone brick block like that. And we do need to make these wheels, so just uh, take a dark oak fence gate, great terracotta hopper, polished blackstone brick slab and stairs and wall and we do have to make the wheels again here so just gray terracotta here uh skip three another one plus side same thing uh dark oak fence gates for the axles 
Polish blacks and brick slabs cross the middle part. And one over here. Walls on the sides. Hoppers, sides of the wheels. Slab in here in the bottom. And then stairs facing inwards. Other side, we could do the same exact thing. You know, just repeating everything. And then stairs right over here. Alright, then this top section that's actually going to be um, polished blackstone slab, just four blocks long like this. Over here as well. Hope I'm doing this right. Am I doing this right? Am I? Okay, so we do need to add in another oak slab right there. Okay. Then we'll add in polished blackstone brick block in the middle, three blocks long. Dark oak plank here. Dark oak fence gate underneath. And then... And then we'll grab a nether brick uh, fence. Dark oak trap door. And... Polished blackstone brick stairs. And polished blackstone slab. Alright. So go up to the edge here. Just two blocks wide. Polished blackstone. Both sides. Edge, polish, black silver brick stairs upside down, and polish black stone underneath that. Other side, same thing. Alright, and then at the inside part, it's going to be polished black stone right there. And then dark oak fence gate here. Edges, and then another brick fence. Two blocks wide for each side, and then middle dark oak fence gate. Can open up this one here. Dark oak trap door for the brake wheel. And polished blackstone blocks either side of that. You delete these three blocks in the middle. Put polished blackstone block here. Black concrete. And polished blackstone across the top. And dark oak trap doors on either side of it like this. Close them up. And polished blackstone. Um, that's going to be in the middle with a black glass pane right inside there. Very cool. And then we'll add in chain side and then black stone button. That's going to be on the corners of that like this. Then we'll go in the middle part here to dark oak trap doors. Polished blackstone, um, brick slab here, a wither skeleton skull right there, the side polished blackstone brick, or polished blocks of slab, I don't think it really matters, <laughs> and then a deep slate tile slab like that. Also add a gray carpet on top of this, just like that. And now let's grab some more materials. Uh, let's take out oak slab, oak buttons, iron trap door, skeleton skull, birch fence gate, stone button. So in this corner here, stone button right there. And birch fence gate, open that up. Another one here at the top, open that up. Skeleton skull facing inwards here. And one right there. Three blocks like that. Then we'll go over here, line it up into the middle part, just three blocks long, iron, trap doors, and then two over here. And then we will have to add in oak buttons just underneath this one. The four buttons like that. Above we'll add in oak um, slabs, just five oak slabs spaced apart. Okay, and then we'll go um, diagonally that way, and two blocks wide iron trap doors like that. Another iron trap door right over in between these ones. And now for the other side, uh, we're going to go over down here, add in oak buttons just four blocks wide. And then oak slab top here, the five of them uh, spaced apart. Just like this. And then we'll go over here. Birch uh, fence gate. Open that up. Underneath is going to be a uh, dark oak fence gate. Open that up. And uh, and we'll go down here. Delete these block here. 
and delete these two, add a polished blackstone, and then polished blackstone slab on the edge, like that, and oak slab right there. On the other side, we can add in a tile block right in there. All right, now we need to add in the bottom, so let's go over here. This edge, make a T-shape, polish black and brick slab. And then we'll go off to this side, three blocks wide, polish black and brick slab. And then we'll add in two gray concretes in the middle, two polish black and brick stairs facing each other, and slabs two blocks wide underneath. And the other side, uh, we could do same thing pretty much. And I think the middle part, yeah, we just make it slabs going across. Just like that, and then um, next up, we'll add in three blocks wide, polished black and brick slabs here. And I'm just gonna turn off my shader so you guys can see better. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna add a polished black and brick block here, slab underneath, then slab here, and then there's gonna be three upside down polished black and brick stairs, three slabs underneath that. A slab right here, three blocks wide, and then a uh, gray concrete, four blocks wide. Other side, same thing, four blocks wide, with deep slate brick slabs underneath that, and deep slate brick walls in between. And a polished blackstone brick slab here, polished blackstone brick uh, wall. Maybe right next to that, both sides. That two by three, gray concrete. Gray concrete here in the middle. And then it's gonna be a polished blackstone uh, brick stairs right here. And then tile uh, stairs. Gonna be right here. And then deep slate tile slab underneath here, four blocks wide. Then the other side, we're going to add in three tile slabs here, and then four tile slabs here. The upside down, polished blackstone uh, brick uh, stairs right here. And then deep slate tile stairs right there. Now we'll go off to the other side here. And add in three upside down, polished blackstone brick stairs. Then um, two gray concretes. Then polish black stone brick slabs underneath here, three blocks wide like that. And then in between we'll add in polish black stone brick slabs cross inside part. Just like that. Alright, so yeah, that's pretty much it on how to make all the cars for the SLSTA in Minecraft. Thanks again to Matthew Hamblin for commissioning this build, making this video possible. Uh, but anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.